All right, so we've got a question here and it says, I signed up for tactical arbitrage. I'm assuming that's what this is alluding to since it's all commented on a tactical arbitrage for a source mogul video. And obviously I've read the question already. So I signed up for tactical arbitrage and I can say nothing, but it's mostly garbage. I do high five figures monthly right now with online arbitrage. It won't even find my own profitable products when I specify uh, when I specifically target the same cat store and category. It also doesn't know how to separate bundle listings from single units. It will add a buy cost of one unit of $3.99, but it's sold in a pack of three on Amazon. It will show you your buy cost $3.99 and make it look like it's profitable when it's not because you have to buy multiple units to actually sell that bundle. My question is, is Source Mogul the same? So obviously I've done this video already, right? Like I've covered tactical arbitrage and Source Mogul, what my opinions on both softwares are, right? Like the pricing structures, how much they obviously cost you, um, you know, the effectiveness of the software and my own personal experience with both of them. So I definitely recommend that anybody has a question about this, go check that video out. I will make sure to drop that down in the description uh, if you're interested, right? So that said, to answer your question specifically, if I've ever seen issues with specific variations or like bundle items on Source Mogul, no, I haven't, right? So to answer your question, um, is it the same? I've never personally seen that issue on, on either Tactical Arbitrage or Source Mogul, but since you're basically saying that you see it you know, frequently on Tactical Arbitrage, I personally have not seen it on Source Mogul, okay? The main issue that I see some people having with Source Mogul is they forget to update their lists all the time, right? So for example, if you're in the Source Mogul software and you scan a list or you scan a couple different lists and you look at them, right? And then you come back like three, four days later potentially or even like a week or two later, right? And you try to look at that same list, a lot of times you're going to be wasting your time because you're looking at an outdated list that was scanned two weeks ago using the product data and the Amazon listings two weeks ago. And so the data is gonna be off, the information is going to be off. And so what you need to do instead is you need to constantly update your list, right? That doesn't mean you have to uh, log on every single day to Source Mogul and update every single list, right? That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is if you're about to scan a list for like Home Depot, for example, right? Or any of the websites that Source Mogul covers, there's hundreds of them, okay? What you want to do is you want to scan that list ahead of time right then and there because it only takes you about like anywhere from like two to 10 minutes potentially, at least in my experience, even with the big stores, right? And honestly, like what, what's basically gonna happen when you do that is you're gonna get the most up-to-date product info and comparison of those products in that store specifically versus the products on Amazon. So that's the major issue that I see with Source Mogul. Um, but you know, if you're doing that and you're updating your product lists, you won't run into those specific situations. But honestly, to ask your question, because it seems like you're kind of looking for some, or to answer your question, because it seems like you're kind of looking for some reassurance on like, is Source Mogul worth it? Should you actually go ahead and purchase it? My best suggestion would be try it out, okay? They have a free trial. I've covered it in that actual video. I'll link to the free trial as well for Source Mogul down in the description if you wanna check it out, okay? There is a complete free trial for Source Mogul so you don't actually need to go in ahead of time and be like, I need to pay for this just to find out if it works. You can log in, use the free trial, find out yourself if A, it works, B, you like it, and C, it's something you see yourself paying for long-term or at least for the next month or so, right? and then ultimately decide for yourself, okay? I personally think it's worth it, but ultimately everybody should decide for themselves and figure out for themselves if they want to pay for it. So that's my, my basic answer to your question. I really hope that, that helps. You guys have questions, I have answers. If you have a specific question, do not hesitate to ask it. Drop it down in the comment section below, and maybe I'll turn it into a video just like this and answer it in video format. On top of that, there is a cheat sheet linked down in the description with uh, 70 of my most frequent sites that I actually source from. Now I'm planning on updating this, so by the time you're watching this, it's a little bit outdated currently, so if you, you know, right at the, the launch of this video, if you actually click on that, obviously, you know, the cheat sheet should be a little bit outdated, but I plan on updating it either tonight or tomorrow. I haven't got time yet. And then I'll, it'll be re-updated with all the most frequent uh, sites that I list, about 70 to 100 that I actually source from for profitable inventory, okay? On top of that, if you actually click the, the uh, so that's the third link in the description usually. If you click the second link in the, descri the description, that will cover the six ways, so the most uh, frequent six ways, and there's a couple of other ones I don't actually put in there, but the six ways that I'm also able to make a sustainable income every single month 
month reselling products online and it will outline exactly what those business models are and how you can perform them and it's a full complete uh, complete case study 100% free you can also see examples of products that I've bought and sold using those business models so I'm not just saying hey you could do this I'm literally showing you examples and proof of ways that I've done it as well okay so that will outline all that for you if you're interested in that on top of it Online Arbitrage Pro is always linked down in the description. It's the first link in the description. And recently I've actually been linking a lot of my Udemy courses, which Online Arbitrage Pro is my premium course. It covers literally everything that I know on reselling, online arbitrage, software, right? Wholesale as well. Literally everything that I know reselling to make money online is covered in Online Arbitrage Pro. But if you're interested in one specific business model, because there's a number, a lot of information in that course, right? I think it's, I don't even know what it is, honestly. It's, my, it's like, maybe 20, 30 hours long, right? So if, for example, you're interested in only one form of reselling, then check out some of the Udemy courses linked all the way down at the bottom of the description, okay? And that wraps up my sales pitch here. Didn't mean to get into it like in depth, right? But I kind of, I, I rarely touch on the links in the description, so I kind of wanted to let you know that they're there, okay? So cheat sheet there, free case study there, online arbitrage pro there, and if you're specifically interested in a course that you know covers a specific reselling business model, check out the description for the Udemy courses at the bottom, okay? So hope you guys like this video. Remember, if you have a specific question, drop it in the comments. I would love to answer it for you, and I'll see you in the next one.